Welcome to the River Bandits wrap up. I'm Harrison Ralph here at Modern Woodman Park where the Quad Cities River Bandits just pitched a shutout win over the Peoria Chiefs. 2 0 was the final score. The birthday boy, Brock Dykesorn, was on the mound for the River Bandits. He was facing off against Matt Pierce, who took the bump for the Chiefs. Let's go take a look at the highlights. And then to Peoria to start the second half. 0 2 swung on and missed by Acevedo. And there is the first strikeout for Brock Dykesorn. Pierce now ready with the 2-2 with two down, and Richie hits it in the air toward right field. Going back on it, Thompson near the warning track, looks up, and it's gone. Jamie Richie homers over the ribbon board in right field to give the Bandits the first run of the game. 1-0 Quad Cities off the bat of Jamie Richie, his first home run since June 17th, and his fourth of the season. He goes to the opposite field, sneaking it over the ribbon board, and the Bandits with a 1-0 lead. Fourth of July weekend. Here's the payoff. De Leon takes a called strike three. Dykeshorn put a fastball on the outside corner away from De Leon, and he began to walk to first base towards third base. Mc McMullen on the first pitch lifts it over the head of Seferina in the right field. So... The great defense of Johan Acevedo. Almost two outs, runner on second. Dykeshorn looks at the runner and delivers the pitch. Called, strike three. Went for the back door, breaking ball again. The starter for Peoria, Matt Pierce, the tough luck loser in this one, allowed only two runs over his six and two thirds innings. Didn't walk anyone and struck out four. He picks up his ninth loss on the season. In four quad cities, it was Jamie Ritchie breaking up the scoreless affair with his fourth home run of the season, this coming in the third inning off Matt Pierce. Last but not least, Brock Dykesorn on his 21st birthday turns in a sparkling performance going seven innings, giving up just three hits, didn't walk anyone, and struck out three. So the 6'8 right-hander Brock Dykesorn picks up his fifth win of the season, going a season-high seven innings tonight. We talked to the big right-hander after the game. Yeah, it felt good. Um, right from the first pitch, uh, warm-ups, I was feeling good. Uh, found a good tempo to work at and uh, just kind of went with that. The game went pretty, uh, pretty quick and pretty efficient. Um, and I think that helped me as the game went on, uh, keep my pitch count down and kind of working at a faster tempo, uh, keep everything moving a little bit. felt good. It was one of my better outings. Um, I've had a few, maybe a little better, um, a few more strikeouts and whatnot, but can't complain with uh, some quick early outs. Um, felt good tonight, but at the same time, there's still some things I know I need to improve on. Um, fastball command was there at times and not at others. Um, so I know if I can improve that, uh, there's still, still some room for improvement and uh, time to get better. Certainly a night to celebrate for Brock Dykesorn and the Quad Cities River Bandits. The River Bandits picking up win number 50 on the season with their 2-0 victory over uh, the Peoria Chiefs tonight here at Modern Woodman Park. It'll be the same two teams, Chiefs and River Bandits, tomorrow night, same time, 7 p.m. Francis Martes will be on the bump for the River Bandits and Johnny Polanco on the mound for Peoria. Thank you for watching the River Bandits wrap-up. I'm Harrison Ralph. Have a great night.